What's up travelers? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about how to save money when you're traveling. So this is when you've already arrived at your destination and you don't want to spend a gazillion dollars on everything that there is to do there. Let's get into it. The first travel tip on how to save money when you're traveling is to book an accommodation with a kitchen. This will give you the flexibility of choosing between eating out or cooking your own meals. So you have the luxury of having an option to choose both. Piggybacking off of that travel tip, you could definitely go grocery shopping once you arrive at your destination and cook your meals freshly at your accommodation. What I really like to do personally, I like to eat out for one meal a day. I don't like to eat out for three meals a day. The reason is because lunch is my biggest meal of the day, so I'd rather dine out for lunch. For breakfast, I don't like spending so much time finding a place and dining out when I'm traveling, so I tend to just get yogurt and fruit and eat it at the accommodation, and then I'll start the day. For dinner, since I've been living in Spain, I usually eat dinner pretty late and I don't like eating something too heavy, so I'll usually just make a salad or a soup at the accommodation. The next travel tip on how to save money when you're traveling is to pack light. This will help with baggage fees and this will also help with stress. You won't have to worry about carrying so much and leaving potentially something behind. So definitely pack light whenever you can. The next travel tip on how to save money when traveling is to make sure you look into passes. This is usually like public transportation passes as well as tourist passes. So for example, if you go to a destination such as Amsterdam, when you arrive, you can possibly buy a ticket that is three days and it gives you access to museums and tour other tourist attractions for either a very big discount or a reduced rate. So definitely very interesting for those travelers who are trying to save money. The next travel tip on how to save money when you're traveling is to make sure you look into free or reduced tourist attractions. You'd be surprised at the amount of museums and destinations that have reduced rates for a certain time frame, as well as free activities. These are things like free walking tours where you have to leave a tip. And obviously you don't want to be cheap. You want to leave what you can for the tour guide because that's how they make a living. But you do want to make sure that you're just seeing what's out there because this is definitely a good option for people on a budget. The next travel tip on how to save money when you're traveling is to make sure that you avoid tourist traps. These are things that are self-explanatory, but it's basically a trap for tourists and they're trying to make money off of you. So you want to avoid very expensive souvenir shops. And Any sketchy people who are trying to sell you something, your gut never lies. These people are pretty easy to notice and spot out. So just keep a distance from them on anyone who's trying to sell you something or overcharge you for something for example in morocco it's very common for people to just grab your hand and start doing a henna specifically on females so just try to avoid interacting with sketchy people like this the next travel tip on how to save money when you're traveling is to try to consume less alcohol especially if you are trying to save money we all know alcohol is definitely not cheap especially when you're traveling you'll notice that that's probably one of your biggest expenses especially if you go to like a cocktail bar or something so if you can just try to drink less alcohol and you'll notice that you'll save tons of more money and you also notice that you will be potentially saving a lot of time because you won't be hung over the next day and in bed spending time when you're in this beautiful destination that you should just be out there exploring the next travel tip on how to save money when traveling is to consider eating local when dining out. And what I mean by this is go eat out where the locals go because everybody knows the locals are not going to be paying tourist prices. That's just a fact. So what you can do is find out what traditional cuisine is in your destination and find certain places that serve it authentically. To give you context, when I went to Lisbon, I noticed that I wasn't really eating traditionally Portuguese food. So I wanted to go to an adega, which is where a lot of Portuguese people eat because it's classic and traditional Portuguese food. And the prices there were significantly cheaper than a lot of the tours that I was experiencing. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend to do this and if you're not sure where to even start i would a either talk to a local or b find out what's local cuisine in your destination and then find out who serves it and this will also help you lean more into the culture and learn more about what they offer and what they eat next travel tip i have for you on how to save money when you're traveling is to make sure you're always paying in the local currency for credit card transactions this is something that seems to go over a lot of travelers' heads. And I personally think this is a very pointless way to spend your money because you're basically paying more for that item because the credit card merchant is charging you to convert that money. So to give you an example, if you are American and you're going to be traveling to Europe, you want to be paying in the euros versus the dollars because 
whatever credit card machine you are going to be paying on that will be converting will be making money off of you to convert that euro back to the dollar. Everybody needs to make money in a transaction and this is how credit card merchants get their piece of the pie. So you definitely want to make sure that you are not converting your money and you are paying in the local currency. This is for every destination. If you are going to Thailand, you wouldn't pay in the Euro. Obviously you would pay in the bot because that's their currency. So just take that with you for every destination that you travel to and you will save a ton of money because you should get a one-to-one -one on your credit card transaction as long as you have a foreign friendly credit card. And that's like a whole nother travel tip within itself. But basically you always want to make sure that you have foreign friendly credit cards and debit cards that won't charge you for foreign transactions. So that's like three travel tips within one, but that's definitely something that will save you a ton of money. All right, and the next travel tip I have for you is to definitely consider ride sharing apps when you are considering transportation if you're trying to save money when you're traveling. These are things that are almost guaranteed to be a bit cheaper than trains and buses and flights. Really worth a look, especially if you are on a budget. Outside of that, thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for more travel content. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.